Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 100. Finally, right? It feels like we've been doing this since April. <laughs> We have, we have, I won't go on about it. We all know I moved. Okay, so, you hear that truck outside? There's a truck outside. If you're new to this channel, my name is Krista. This is my secret yarnery. This is my creative craft space in my home. And thank you so much for inviting me over. This channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. There are tutorials, there's live chats, there's podcasts just like this. And upcoming, there will also be Tip Tuesdays starting on Tuesday. So super excited about all of the things starting and bursting and blossoming for the fall. So super excited about all of that. If any of it's of interest, to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Yes, it's crochet. And the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any more fun videos just like this. So finished objects, I don't have any. I finished nothing. I have everything up to the filming stage and then I just kind of move on to the next one. So I have been working on my dirt for my plants, kind of like a little disc, a little hockey puck and I have been working on the center of my plant. I'm doing it like some different sizes. This is for my bird nest fern. And yes, there'll be a tutorial for that, just so it kind of starts out realistically. And I have all of the other stalks and stems ready to go. So that is just waiting for the dirt. I have to film it. So I'm really excited about this. Can't wait to just have it in my house like a plant. Can't have enough greenery in your home. So that is one whip basket. Second whip basket is another string of pearls plant. I have a whole bunch done in this lovely green. This is ice yarns. And I also started some in like a local Kenyan acrylic. This is from Ken Knit. It is cheap as chips, but now I feel, I don't think it goes that great together. I don't think it looks very variegated. One looks like super jady. Oh, look what I did. I'm so smart sometimes. <laughs> I don't know when, but that works out. I put a binder ring, all my vines in the middle so I can see how long they are. Let me just pop this off for a sec. There we go. So you can see how, I can see how long they are when I am crocheting it. And that gives me an idea of how big it's gonna be when it is done. But I think when I started the Kenyan acrylic version, uh, I think I started another whip. I think that has to be another plant, like a different plant. Not that I mind, super great project to work on when you are uh, watching TV or anything like that, and none of it matters. Every, every stem or stalk, or what do you call them, stem stalks? branch <laughs> well they all can be different so there's no wrong way of doing that which makes it perfect for watching tv so that is another thing i am working on casually plus you can't have your plant can't be too big right it's not like oh gee your plant is too lush no nobody says that that's not true so that's another thing i'm working on i did start this i made uh i was doing a dirt with both strands of yarn and a larger hook not worth it. That one's not worth it. So this one didn't really work out. It looked really kind of just less expensive, I guess. It didn't look great. The colors mixed together were all right, but the big stitches, the big, it looked like just big single crochets. I'm like, no, it's not what we're doing. So I went right back to this version, which is just single crochet in one color. Nice and thin, it doesn't have to be super chunky, it's just a little dirt hockey puck to be the home or the base for our plant. So that was an, that was an experiment that didn't really pay off. What I did manage to do is get another 200 grams onto this gorgeous blanket. This tutorial will be coming out in September. I know a lot of you are waiting for it. It is gorgeous, really fun to work on. Another good one you can do while you're watching TV or chatting with friends. You almost don't even have to look at it. So now I've put another 200 grams. I'm gonna put one more 200 grams. I'm gonna put 400 grams more onto it. 
It is a bit of a yarn eater, but I want it to be big enough for me to use. I know it's a baby blanket, but for me, it's gonna be like a lapgan. So cute, right? So working on that, that's like my Sunday project. If I have Sundays off, <laughs> hilarious. I sit in bed, get my 200 grams, watch a good show and work on this blanket. So that's another whip I'm working on. And that is all I have for whips. That's everything on my hook. Now I just wanna say thank you so much for being a fabulous member of this community, of our community. The crochet community on YouTube is amazing. So supportive and like loving, like literally loving. So yes, there are some negative comments every now and again, and that's part of life. However, 99.9999999999% of you are amazing and thank you so much for being a part of this community and helping me celebrate a hundred podcasts. So I just want to take a little look back at my very first podcast. Welcome to our first crochet vlog. I've never done one of these before, but it's a cool thing to do. I watch other people's and I think it's really interesting. So I'm giving it a try. If you like these sort of things, like and subscribe. I'll probably be doing one of these about every two weeks, depending on my schedule, and that means my kid's schedule. Let me first introduce myself. That's probably where I should start. My name's Krista. I have The Secret Yarnery, which is now uh, crochet classes and a yarn emporium. We have tons of deliciousness. This is all delicious, obviously, but on the other side is also delicious. So that's cool. I'll show you one day if I manage to get it all cleaned up. But I got this cleaned up, so I'm happy about that. I should redo the hair. Hmm? I could probably do that hair again. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see if I can manage the do. I don't even think I did my hair for that one. I was just kind of like sat down. I honestly thought no one was going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, not, not too many of you have. However, but it was really fun to do. I was nervous. I don't think you can tell how nervous I really was. I'm like, what? Oh, just scary. Oh. Anyway, glad that one's over with. <laughs> glad it's done, glad it's there. I mean, it's great to just appreciate how far you have, uh, so how far you've come. So to answer some of your questions, what have I learned 100 episodes later? Um, I've learned I'm talking to you. I'm talking to a friend. So that was a hard lesson to learn, <laughs> to believe. So that, that one's a good one. That one is like life-changing. So thanks for being you. Another thing I've learned, don't cheap out on your equipment. I tried so many like little lights. I'm like, this could work, that could work. Just save up and get the good one because you're going to need the good one anyway. So just save up and get the good one. Until then, use your phone, do what you have to do. That little podcast I filmed on a little old Nikon, I had to replace it because I couldn't film tutorials with it. You'd hear the lens zooming in and out like in the video. Audio is terrible, but it was pretty good for that podcast. I'm not complaining. So use what you have and then upgrade properly. I did so many little steps along the way. I tried to like cheap out. Should have saved my money. What I wished I did differently. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe not stop as often as I did. I do tend to take summers off for my children. Maybe I wish I scheduled more in the beginning. I don't know, I just let my channel be organic. So maybe if I took it more seriously in the beginning, but then it wouldn't be me. So I don't know, I think I just do it the same. Would I? I don't know, I can't think of what I'd change. Also over the course of 100 podcasts, which is like six years, <laughs> That's a long time. Over the course of the last 100 episodes, the yarnery has evolved. It started out over here in those shelves there. They were just brown, like natural wood. So that was my first yarnery. I had my yarn kind of tucked in there any which way that it went together. Then I had my toy shelves converted into yarn shelves, which means I just cut them in half, had more shelves, put a, put a back on the new half of it. So they used to be two feet deep. Now they're 12 inches deep. 
those are great made those myself get a lot of questions about that where did i get my yarn wall shelving made it my dad's design which i found when i moved so if you're interested in that maybe i could put it on as a pdf on my website let me know in the comments down below if you are interested in that and they were just natural plywood also until Litsa, my dear friend, who I crocheted the blanket for in that very first vlog or podcast, said, why don't you paint them white? And I was like, why don't I paint them white? So now I love them. But that was also an evolution. And then, of course, the big decision to store my yarn in rainbow order to do a little home edit on my yarn wall best thing I did, best thing I did. That's maybe what I wish I did sooner, is just have the courage to organize by color and then by shelf for different yarn weight. If you have different yarn weights, so lightest at the top, thickest at the bottom, natural fibers on one shelf, cottons, you know, however you wanna sort it out, but keeping in the rainbow order, that really helps me see what colors I have and what colors I don't have or what shades or tints, I suppose. Like just that little, you're like, oh, I need a green. Like I need an avocado green. I do. I only have it in Lorena Worsted. I wish I had it in my acrylics, which I like to use a lot for tutorials. I think it's easier for people to not, or viewers, subscribers, to not stress out about having the same yarn I do. It's acrylic, everybody can get their hands on it and it's easy to work with and you can see the stitches and everything. So keeping your yarn in rainbow order really helps with that and I wish I did that sooner. That I wish I did. Very scary though, it was very scary. I'm like, my yarn will never, it'll be such a mess, won't find anything, you totally will. winner from last week's podcast is doo -doo -doo, if you don't know if you by answering the question of the day in the comments under this video you will be automatically entered to win I just do a random comment picker for the comments under the video to win one of my PDF patterns my latest pattern whatever that is so the winner from last week is doo -doo 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 -doo, Kiki Congratulations, Kiki. She says, I just love your patterns and well, just everything. Would Krista's questions work? Yes, and that is so much cuter than the big long thing I came up with. So this question was, what are we gonna call the monthly tags? I think I ended up doing TSY, the secret yarnery, top 10 for you. But Krista's questions is so much quicker, isn't it? So also let me know if we should just change it over to Krista's, Krista's questions. Let me know. And I'll link that video up in the cards as well if you wanna make your own video about it or answer those questions underneath the video. 
So question of the day for this video, meaning answer this question in the comments under this video is, what was your favorite podcast of mine? <laughs> comma of mine. What is your favorite Secret Urinary podcast? What episode and what did you love about it? So let me know that in the comments down below and I'll be picking that winner in the next podcast, episode 101. All I know is my most popular podcast was episode 71, Blankets, Blankets Everywhere. So I'll link that up in the cards as well. You can go and check that out if you want to see the most popular one. I don't know why it's popular. They all, they all seem the same to me, but <laughs> You tell me in the comments down below what your favorite is, and hopefully you win next week. So Kiki, send me an email, Krista at secretyarnery.com, and also comment under this video that you won, woo, and then I will know that it's you, and I will email you the pattern. So that's all I have for you, short and quick. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a super great day, and we'll be seeing you in the next video. Stay hooked. One hundred, one hundred, what? That's amazing, right? Oh, hmm. crazy. What a good choice that was to start a YouTube channel. What? What a blessing. Like what a bursting, joyous bubble of blessing it is. So thank you so much for that. Is that a thing? Bursting bubble of blessings? It should be. I see a t-shirt. <laughs> Everything's a t-shirt. <laughs>